I think we all know that one. Uh, Oprah would kill her. I mean, that would be no contest. And if Oprah bounced off the ropes or jumped off a turnstile while Sarah was on the ground, the only thing be left is her glasses, dude. She would be in Alaska, okay? Talk about Eskimo pie, boom, she gone. Oprah, come on, Oprah's like a middle linebacker. She's like the fridge. I hope she's reflecting. You know, Lord knows I had to do a lot of it, and all of us have to do, you know? And I hope she hit a bottom. She's not playing cards with the girls in there, I'm, that's for sure. She's probably doing a lot of hiding, you know, because there's a whole can of ass whipping ready to be opened up on her ass in there, so. Uh, alcohol and, and, alcohol and, and anger don't mix well. I think he's experiencing both, you know. So everybody around him is going to have to have on football helmets in a minute because he's going to go ballistic, ballistic. But he's had a great career, stellar, made a lot of money. You know, he's gone a lot of places, done a lot of incredible stuff. Now, here go another challenge to get over, you know what I mean? Hey, I like the Apocalypto. He did a movie about one of my favorite Jews, too, so it's like... I say probably Rush Limbaugh, you know, because he talks about a whole lot of nothing, you know. Watch it on the pills too, buddy. Probably Jim. I think Jim was the biggest comedian offset. He was crazy. That dude was crazy. He got mad at Keenan one time. We had a read through. You know, that's where the producers and the directors sit at the table and we read the material. He was mad, so Keenan's sitting here. And he turned his butt to Keenan, and he read his whole script like this. <laughs> and everybody was like, and he did it. And we were dying. We had tears in our eyes. And he meant it. He was serious. Did it for a whole hour. He's wild. He also knows every song by the Bee Gees, which is really scary. Ask him to sing Bee Gees and laugh. I mean, he gets into it, too. He'll probably start singing, Night fever, night fever. We got the right show with you. That actually used to be on the radio. Uh, Sammy was one of my favorite, actually. And the reason why I liked him a lot was because he was so eloquent. And he'd say, sometimes he would say things that, that would just defy reason, but it sounded good. Like he would say things like, I had a really good time today and I feel like groovy lemon pie. And you're like, what? Groovy lemon pie. So that's why I loved him, because he could say anything he wanted. I think he was high or something, but... And he, he married two of the top white actresses at a time when blacks couldn't get an ice cream sundae in public. So I was like, I like this dude.